To solve a system of equations, there's multiple ways that we could solve them, yet we'll show in this video how to do it both by the graphing method and the elimination method. So to solve the system of equations x plus 2y equals 5 and 2x minus y equals 0, we'll first write these in what we call slope-intercept form. That means in both of these equations, solving for y. So in the first equation, which we'll do in black, x plus 2y equals 5, we'll subtract an x from both sides, so 2y equals negative x plus 5, and dividing through by 2 each term, y equals negative 1 half x plus 5 halves. In the second equation, which we'll do in red, 2x minus y equals 0, to solve this, we'll first subtract the 2x from both sides, so negative y equals negative 2x, and divide through by negative 1 to switch the sign to positive y. y equals positive 2x plus 0. Now in both of these new equations, the number at the very end is the y-intercept, and the number in front of the x, or the coefficient in front of the x, is what we call the slope. The slope here in the first black equation, m equals negative 1 half, means that we're going down one unit and to the right two units. Similarly, in the other e equation, y equals 0, the y-intercept is 0, and the slope is 2, which we can write as a fraction 2 over 1, meaning going up 2 and right 1. So, to graph these two lines, on our coordinate system to the right, each unit here will represent one unit. So, uh, the black line, the y-intercept is 5 halves, well this interprets to 2 and 1 half. So we'll go 1, 2, and a half units. There's our y-intercept of 0, comma, 5 halves. From that, we'll go down a unit, and then write two units, one, two, to arrive at our second point. Since two points do make a line, we can draw the, the line that travels through these two points. So this line here represents x plus 2y equals 5. All the points on this line uh, correspond to the points that would satisfy the equation. In red, we'll start at the y-intercept of 0, so that's the order pair 0, 0, the origin, and we'll travel up two units into the right one. So again, with two points, we can draw the line that travels through those, and so our line would look like this. Oops. We'll undo that and make it a little cleaner. So this line would look like that. We can see clearly that these two lines do cross at the order pair 1 to the right and 2 up. And indeed, this seems to be the ordered pair, that would, this point here, that lies on both lines. This is the ordered pair that satisfies both equations. We can check this. And by checking it, that means that we'll plug in x equals 1 and y equals 2 into both equations. And indeed, if this uh, is indeed the solution, it should work in both equations. So, in the first equation, in black, 1 plus 2 times 2, does that work out to 5? Well, let's see, 1 uh, plus 4 does equal 5? Yes, it does, 5 equals 5. In the second equation, does 2 times 1 Minus 2 work out to 0. Well, 2 times 1 is 2. Minus 2. Well, yes, it does. So that means that the ordered pair solution, zero, uh, 1, comma, 2, is the answer. Now, graphing many times doesn't provide us the correct solution uh, because we can never graph very accurately. So, on a new sheet of paper here, let's try doing this a second time where we solve it by the elimination method. The elimination method says that if we were to add the columns up we would want one of the variables to cancel. You'll note in this equation that by adding columns up neither variables will cancel at this point so let's multiply one equation or maybe both equations by something so that when we do add them something does cancel. 
my choice will be to multiply the second equation by 2. And you'll see that the top equation never changed, x plus 2y equals 5, and 4x minus 2y equals 0 times 2 is 0. Adding these columns up now, x plus 4x is 5x, 2y minus 2y cancels out, and 5 plus 0 is 5. By dividing through by 5, x equals 1. So, so far, x equals 1 is part of the ordered pair solution. However, we also need the y value. Well, plug that into either equation to solve for y, such as the top equation. So, 1 plus 2y does uh, equal 5. And to solve for y, we'll first subtract a 1 from both sides. 2y equals 4. And divide through by 2, y equals positive 2. So we see now that the ordered pair solution is 1, 2 by the elimination method, which again agrees with our solution by the graphing method of 1, 2.